Hello everybody, it is video time and today we're going to be painting salamanders without an airbrush and without painting 500 layers. They are the only, arguably, the only true good guys in the 40k universe and hopefully we can do them justice even in a short video such as this. So let's get started. As always, to start with we're going to base coat our model and I have skipped all the steps you'd normally have to do. You'd have to use wire flesh, you'd have to use warpstone glow, it takes ages. In this case, we are using Army Painter Green Skin Spray. Now we've got someone to thank for this, and that is one of the viewers, OS, to save revealing his true name. He sent me the money for this on PayPal, I've bought the spray, and now I'm making the guys. So a massive thank you to him for doing that. And this is how it comes out on the model. It is almost identical to warpstone glow, we'll have a look at that in a second. There we go, look, it is not far off it at all. Slightly duller, but only ever so slightly. Um, undercoat your model with that, and then undercoat the backpack, which I suggest you leave all of them separate when you're painting salamanders. Undercoat the backpack black, and that's gonna save you a little bit of time, and mean you're not gonna accidentally ruin your green. Now the first step is to grab some known oil, and you're just gonna put that all over the model. It's a really simple step, and we all love it when it's this simple. You just stick it all over it. Make sure you cover all of those armor areas and then we can move on to the next step. And here it is with that Nuln Oil Dry. It's brought out all of the detail on that green armor. We don't actually need to do anything more to it in this video. If you want to highlight it moot green you can, but here we won't be. Next paint you're going to need is a bad and black and we're going to paint in all of the black details. That's the bits of uh, under armour showing between the armour panels, that's his weapon uh, and anything else that you think should be black. Once the black is dry we're then going to get some Eshin grey and um, we're going to use that to highlight ever so slightly the black areas that we painted. So most crucially the shoulder pads and the backpack. If you don't highlight the backpack it's going to look a little bit plain and it's going to be obvious that you've just very quickly speed painted the model. So just by adding some really simple highlights on the areas that we've done black. You don't have to take too long doing it. There's not that many black areas, but it's gonna give the illusion that you've spent far more time on it than you actually have. And with it dry, you can kind of see what I mean. It's the top of the backpack that people are gonna see when you're moving your models around on the table. So that's the bit you kind of want to focus on. And as you can see, it creates the illusion that we really have spent a bit of time on it. Next we're going to get some Retributor armor, we're going to paint all of the gold areas, so that's the Aquila going across his chest, and any other hanging gold details, he's got a little bullet on it, um, and don't forget details on the gun, uh, and any other areas that you think would be nice and ornamental if they were gold. Next we're going to switch to lead belt, and we're going to paint in the silver detail, so for me that's going to be the bolt rifle, that's going to be the pistol grip in his holster, the little tubes on the side of his helmet, and then the vents on his power pack. And here's where we're up to so far, we've not spent very much time on this model at all, yet it's looking pretty decent. But there's a few other details we need to paint. I've deliberately chosen a model that's got a bare face for once. So we're going to get some Corvus Black and we're going to paint in Salamander Skin. Obviously they come from Nocturne where the radiation means that they all have dark skin. In this case, using a dark grey instead of a black means that when we put a shade on top of it, it will actually settle in the recesses. Next, get your Eshin Grey and we're going to paint in the hair. Obviously you can paint this any colour you want, but I'd probably stick to dark browns greys or just black. Next grab some Rakarth flesh and we're going to paint in the purity seal on his arm. It's the same standard way we paint this as we have done in pretty much every other video. So just give that a couple of coats and you're good to go. Next grab Screamer Pink and we're going to paint in the other part of the purity seal or show jumping award as my wife called it in the Blood Angels video. With that done, we're going to change the white scar. We're going to paint in some finer details now, which are basically going to be the eyes of the helmet. So if you're painting regular helmeted guys, then you'll do the stage on all of them, obviously. Paint in both of those eyes nice and neatly. If you make a mistake, just get some warpstone glow and correct it. Once you've done that, you're going to switch to Agrax Earthshade, and we're going to shade in all of the Rakarth flesh areas, the gold areas, basically all the areas we just did apart from the eyes of the helmet.
Now we're back to Nolan Oil and we're going to shade in the grey areas and the silver areas. So that's his entire head, including the green on the back, and then all of the silver of the bolt rifle, and then just on the edge of his helmet as well. Next you're going to use Iandin Yellow, or if you still have the old pot, Lamenter's Yellow Glaze works as well. Basically just put some on, your, on a detail brush and then stick that on the eye lenses of the helmet and that's going to give a nice yellow glow. Next switch to Pink Horror and this is to do a little highlight around the edge of the Purity Seal. Again this is just a little bit of an optical illusion that from a distance with having this highlighted people will think that you must have done that to a lot of the model when actually you haven't. Tactical highlighting. Next, get some corn red, and we're going to very, 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 very carefully paint in the eyes. You don't want to go ruining your black that's perfectly shaded with that non oil, so be nice and careful in doing this stage. And voila! There we have it, your finished salamander. I think he looks great personally, and when he's fully based up, as you'll see in a second, you really, really can't tell you've just sprayed it with a spray that's designed to paint a load of orcs. It's really, really handy. So I highly, highly suggest you get some if you're thinking of painting salamanders, because otherwise they are a pain in the ass to paint. So there's the finished model. Obviously yours might look a little bit different because you can have some transfers on it. You might paint the left or right knee black, maybe the, the uh, trim of the knee, that's the word I'm looking for. You might paint that gold. But either way, here it is, painted and based and done in 25 minutes. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, we're nearly a thousand subscribers now and that's always a good place to be, so thanks for everyone's continued support. Um, if there's anything, as always, that people want to see in particular, just like OS did this video, then leave a comment below and I will endeavour to make it for you.